The DFL regained control of the state house following the November election and the new majority named Representative Melissa Hortman of Brooklyn Park as House Speaker. As Delane Cleveland reports, it's a position that requires long hours and political maneuvering, but the new speaker has high hopes about what lawmakers can accomplish over the 19-week session. I therefore declare Representative Hortman duly elected Speaker of the House of Representatives for the 2019-2020 session. With the sound of thunderous applause, Representative Melissa Hortman took the gavel on January 8th to begin her new role as House Speaker. It's been an eventful three weeks. In the three weeks since, the Brooklyn Park lawmaker says her new job has been filled with 17-hour workdays. I'm a little bit of a workaholic. It it fits well. I have plenty of time to dedicate to public service now. Reports of standing committees and divisions. That workload includes meeting with fellow lawmakers and various stakeholders and trying to get her legislative priorities passed with the Republican-controlled Senate in place. You know, I think it will get more and more difficult as the session goes on for both parties to find things that they can support and get behind. Thank you, Madam Chair. A couple of the DFL priorities this session include allowing more people to buy into the Minnesota Care Health Cover program and to provide paid family medical leave pushing for paid family and medical leave for all employees so when you think about all the different things we're trying to accomplish across a broad array of issue areas the question we'll ask at the end of session is have we made it easier for Minnesotans to afford their lives to have you know economic security and know that they can get the education and the training and the health care that they need at an affordable price. However, Hortman says it's too early to say whether these proposals will mean tax increases. First, we'll take a hard look at all the places we're currently spending money and whether that money is being effectively spent and we'll look at what the needs are. Hearing no objection. As House Speaker, it's Hortman's job to cater to the needs of her party, but she says she hasn't forgotten about her constituency in Brooklyn Park and Coon Rapids. The way that I keep in really close touch with what's going on with my constituents is I read all my own email, so I know what people are raising to me. That is not a proper issue for discussion. Three weeks down, 16 more to go. <laughs> It's early. At the Capitol, Delaine Cleveland, CCX News. One other point Speaker Hortman brought up was the possibility of raising the gas tax to pay for transportation needs. The legislature hasn't raised the gas tax since 2008, and she says policymakers have a responsibility to make an adjustment to that, considering that asphalt costs more now than it did in 2008.